Today we'll talk about the dump spreader and what this was designed for was for dairy and liquidish or liquid type manure. Uh, the, the phrase we always used was if it flows it goes and it's a consistency of um, concrete or thinner is the best way to do it and that gives you the best the best performance. As you dump uh, the two expellers in the back spin in unison and expel the the manure to a spread about 20 feet is pretty average. And the concept is it's a low profile spreader where we keep it low enough so it's very easy to load. This is about a 2,000 gallon unit itself and it's a, a valve with a, a shared hydraulic system between this cylinder and the hydraulic motors in the back. So the faster it raises, the slower they spin. The slower it raises, the faster they spin. And the theory behind that is when you dump slow, it's a very thin liquid, so it's very easy to throw it and it'll spin it quickly. When it dumps quickly, it's a thicker liquid, and so it can spin slower and make it happen that way. Uh, you'll notice a high pivot point, and that allows this to pivot around here, keeps the center of gravity very low. Unlike a dump truck, where a dump truck has a pivot over the back wheel, the weight goes backwards. This keeps the weight forward between the wheels and re reduces uh, uh, tipping and swaying. Some other things you'll notice is a full tubular structure built underneath with a, um, a bridge design or a truss design for more strength, carry more weight. Has a walking tandem axle for uneven surfaces. Um, some major, major points you want to talk about are no chains inside to move manure, no aprons opening and closing in the back, and a big difference is there's nothing to break down. When a chain spreader does break down, anybody that's used a spreader knows there's only one way to clean it out. Other spreaders don't have a dumping action, so you're there with a hand shovel cleaning out your manure spreader. Not a fun job. The other one's the aprons on the back. When they move and open and close their gates, they freeze shut in the winter, and so nothing comes out you have to thaw them out or chisel them out by hand. This you simply dump, everything gets out of the way. Nothing to break down. Another important one is talking about sand bedding at dairies. Sand is a very inexpensive bedding to use. It's very comfortable for the cows and it uh, reduces bacteria growth. So it's a, it's a preferred bedding for animals. Using sand in here, there's nothing to wear out with sand. You put sand in a push spreader, a chain spreader, or an auger spreader, all that sand does is very harsh, and it's like sandpaper or shot blasting or sandblasting your unit over and over and over, and it wears out. We do have many of these out, and some of the very original ones we have in use today, um, over 10 years old, being used every single day, cleaning the dairy, and they hold up and he's using sand bedding. It's completely welded and sealed, so there's no dripping, no leaks, and it's also tapered from front to back. So it's narrower here, wider at the back, so as things go, they wanna drop and clean out easily. Some other uses besides just hauling manure, you'll see it used for, oh, lime, sand, to haul the bedding back to the dairy, um, wood chips, and even, we have guys that buy them and remove expellers and put an electric dump on, just use them for a dump truck or a, uh, a container to haul things to a, to a dump or a landfill. The other thing on the inside is it's completely welded, I mentioned. It has a full tube here and then it's completely lined with an industrial liner so it's a very slippery and smooth surface to prevent any uh, hang-ups and allows us to dump and clean very easily. The guard in the front is simply a splash guard. As you stop, it keeps the the whatever's inside your spreader in there, keeps it from splashing forward. Um, the hitch is set up with a, a very simple uh, two and five sixteenths ball, and it's got a built-in jack stand. I think that pretty much sums up the spreader.